Sir Noel Malcolm denounced that his opinion piece on the subject of Brexit for the institution's website was refused. The honorary fellow at three Cambridge colleges said he was shocked upon finding out. Sir Noel wrote to the Telegraph describing his situation, highlighting that Cambridge had a special section of its website devoted to articles on Brexit, almost all of them hostile. He added, an official told me that those with current links to Cambridge could publish on it, and I am an honorary fellow of three Cambridge colleges, but my article was refused. His article criticized an alarmist anti-Brexit statement published by the Russell Group, which represents the UK's 24 top universities, including Cambridge. A Cambridge University spokesman told The Telegraph that its EU website was not an open publishing platform and nor was it intended as a forum for debate. It was primarily a place for practical Brexit information and guidance for current staff and students. He added, it contained an analysis section where active researchers at the university could showcase work that related to both Brexit and their area of study. We exercise no political judgments in deciding on the content of the site and the EU pages carried analysis reflecting divergent standpoints. While Sir Noel is an honorary fellow at several Cambridge colleges, this did not qualify him to have his article published on this website, so we suggested his article might be better aimed at the University of Oxford, where he is both an active researcher and a faculty member. The complaint comes just days after Oxford University also came under fire in a free speech row. Labour's Andy Burham criticized the institution after pupils voted to take down a painting of the Queen in a row over links to colonialism. The students chose to remove the painting from a college common room because the monarch allegedly represents colonialism. LBC host Nick Ferrari asked Labour's Andy Byrne to weigh in on the controversial vote. The mayor of Greater Manchester replied, I can't really relate to that if I'm honest. I think these kinds of gestures are getting out of hand if I'm honest Nick. I don't support that. We always should respect the Queen especially now given the things that have happened in the last few months. But the president of Magdalen College barrister Dinah Rose expressed her support for the students' decision in a series of tweets arguing that they had a right to free speech and political debate. Ms. Rose wrote on Twitter, here are some facts about Magdalen College and Her Majesty the Queen. The Middle Common Room is an organization of graduate students. They don't represent the college, 